You are welcome to another video of ISI Sorting Protocol Concept and Configuration. In this section, I will talk about ISI's authentication types, which is somehow different from other routing protocols. In ISI Sorting Protocol, we have three types of authentication: authentication on Hello Packet, which is at the scope of interface level, and authentication on other ISI packets like LSP, which can be configured at level one or level two. When it is configured at level 1, the scope is area level, that means all routers in the same area must have the same password. And when it is configured at level 2, then the scope is domain level, that means the all routers in the domain of ISIS must have the same password. Hello Packet is authenticated at the interface level depending on the interface type. Level 1 authentication can be separate from level 2 authentication. In other words, in the LAN interface, where level 1 hello is sent separately from level 2 hello, authentication can be done for each level individually. But on point-to-point -point interface, where only one kind of hello is sent, level 1 authentication is the same as level 2 authentication. The second type of authentication is related to other ISIS packets. Since the routers have no right to modify ISIS packets, the authentication of the ISIS packets take place in the scope of area or entire ISIS domain, depending on the level of ISIS packets. In other words, this type of authentication, which is activated at ISIS process level, if it is activated at level 1, all ISIS routers in the same area must use the same password and if it is activated for level 2 then all routers in the entire domain must use the same password therefore in ISIS for hello authentication we enable it at interface level but for authentication of other ISIS packets we will activate it at ISIS process level for level 1 or level 2 packets if level 1 or level 2 authentication is not specified, both will be included. To configure Hello Packet authentication, we enable it at the interface level, and the neighboring routers in the same link must use the same password, for example, interface Ethernet 00. First, we configure an authentication chain globally, then Authentication mode at the interface level, which can be clear text or MD5. And finally, we call configured authentication chain at interface level. First, globally, chain, for example, chain 1, key 1, and then key string, for example, Raika. One point here is that in authentication configuration, Unlike OSPF, which require key and key ID, in ISIS, the key ID parameter is locally significant and has no effect on the authentication and is not carried in any of ISIS packets. Then we go to the interface level after configuring keychain interface ETH00. And then with command ISIS authentication mode, we can configure the mode uh, clear text or MD5. And finally, authentication we uh, call keychain. We have configured globally, for example, chain one. And then authentication of hello packet in LAN interface can be configured at level one or level two separately but to configure authentication of other isis packets the configuration is the same but we enable it at isis process level if you enable authentication at level one all routers in the area must have the same password and if you configure at level two then it is essential that all isis routers in entire domain have the same password uh, again, we have to first uh, configure keychain globally and then in the rotor ISIS process level and then authentication mode. Again, 
um, MD5 or clear text and then authentication key chain we call the name of the chain for example chain one or any other name and then we can configure authentication at level one or level two which is different completely different from configuring hello authentication or interface level authentication at level one or level two